Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cecilia Chiuzzi from the University of Rome Tor Vergata, and today I'm going to present you the results of our last work on the possibility to adopt a flexible skin sensor for the wireless monitoring of pandemics. In the fight against COVID-19, many authors suggest the possibility to adopt uh, wearable devices in, early, in order to detect early symptoms of the disease and uh, hence reduce the impact on public health and uh, hospitals. In this picture from a recently published paper on uh, nature, authors suggest what what can be the devices uh, adopted in the fight against the virus? And in addition to the more traditional wearable devices such as a smartphone or uh, patches that can monitor um, heartbeat, pressure, and temperature, they propose the use of innovative electronic epidermal tattoos in order to monitor in sweat some uh, biomarkers of stress, for example, cortisol or or pH or other um, ions. Um, a great uh, improvement in epidermal electronics has been given in the last uh, year by the adoption of radio frequency identification technology. Why? Because it is a wireless technology that does not require batteries for uh, operation. In particular, in uh, RFID platform, we can uh, stack a tag comprising an antenna and uh, an IC on the skin and um, use an external reader to power up the tag and receive through the scattering communication data gathered from uh, the skin. In particular, in the UHF band, uh, it's possible to have a real antenna working in a far field and so the distance up to one or two meters and the possibility to read many sensors at the same time. Uh, a great improvement, an additional great improvement to the adoption of RFID technology for skin electronics has been given by the um, uh, availability of innovative uh, IC that um, in addition to the more uh, um, traditional RFID features integrate uh, sensor such as uh, for example temperature sensor and and also external uh, front end for uh, um, uh, interfacing traditional external uh, sensor. Uh, in particular, today it's possible to connect to an RFID IC, for example, uh, um, pressure sensor, mm, uh, deformation sensor, but also chemical sensor. In this constant test, uh, it um, are important, extremely important, the advance in flexible, low-cost and paper-based uh, sensor. In particular, it's possible to print um, sensitive material on flexible substrate, such to have biocompatible um, electrodes directly stuck on the skin. And uh, in order to avoid uh, complex uh, microfluidic uh, circuits, um, some authors propose the possibility to use instead cotton pad or papers that can embed um, water, so sweat, and uh, put uh, the, the electrode in contact with the uh, sampling, um, the sampling fluid. Uh, by considering the so, uh, sensing-oriented IC and uh, uh, printed chemical sensor, we um, developed an epidermal loop capable to um, interface up to two chemical sensors and one physical sensor. In particular, the loop as a, the, 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 the skin sensor as a loop structure, here you can see the uh, distribution of the currents on the radiating element and integrates a sensing oriented IC, uh, SL900A. The, the board can work in both logging mode and real time uh, mode, thanks to an additional battery that can be put on one side of the, of the board. It has, as I told you, a multi-electrode interface, and these uh, electrodes can be changed without uh, modifying the structure of the, of the board. And um, they, uh, it has also a LED button to um, 
identify the status of, of the board and uh, a, a button, a, a physical, uh, a mechanical button for starting and stopping the operation. This is the scheme of the analyte acquisition in SWEAT. We, uh, this is the cross-section view of the board. We can recognize the board, this one, which has on one side the battery and on the other side the AC and the chemical sensor that is directly in contact with the skin. Although we have a battery and some uh, circuitry, the, the thickness of the, the board is less one of is less than one centimeter. So it's um, uh, fully compatible with uh, traditional epidermal uh, devices. Uh, in order to in, improve the comfort for the, 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 the patient during uh, the on-skin application and reduce the possibility to have some side effect due to the injuries on the skin, we uh, put all the, uh, the board in a kind of shell made of um, silvium, that is a biocompatible silicon-based uh, rubber, and uh, um, Ecoflex. Ecoflex guarantees also the um, addition properties of the board that can be uh, attached on the skin without the use of additional adhesive uh, material, as you can see from this uh, picture. Um, numerical uh, simulation guarantees uh, the possibility to read the board up to one meter in both uh, Etsy and FCC band, uh, depending on the configuration of the board. In particular, with battery, we can arrive up to one meter. Without battery, it should be possible to read the, the, the board around, uh, mm, from around 30, 40 centimeters. Once we prototype the board, we um, start with the electromagnetic uh, simulation. You see here what we did in terms of uh, characterization of the um, communication feature, uh, uh, respect the different uh, body location and different subject. In particular, we, uh, make, uh, we made measurements on to two volunteers, a male and a female volunteer over uh, different uh, body regions. And despite the variability among the regions and among the people, it's possible that the realized gain, that is the gain scaled by the mismatch to the AC, demonstrate that it's possible to read um, the, the board even better than in simulation because we can read uh, in completely passive mode from 0 0.4, 0 0.8 meter up to two meter in case the battery is uh, present. Uh, once uh, uh, characterized the um, communication properties, we characterize the sensing properties uh, at the bench. We compare the um, data uh, gathered from our sensor uh, with uh, uh, traditional potentiometric measurements given by uh, PalmSense. Here you see a picture of the setup uh, in which you can recognize two sensors in which we put uh, some drop of um, sweat at a different uh, concentration of both pH and uh, ions. And in particular, we were able to read contemporarily up to two chemical sensors of so pH and sodium and a physical temperature that is a physical sensor that was temperature. Uh, these are two examples of uh, results for different concentration of um, pH and uh, sodium. And uh, this data must be compared with the palm sense uh, results. And uh, as you can see, uh, for both uh, sodium and pH, we have a very good agreement with the, the traditional uh, uh, wired sensing um, uh, device. Uh, once the, the sensing capability um, 
have been uh, characterized in, uh, in uh, laboratory, we move to some operative tests. So first of all, we mm, measured the pH and temperature over a volunteer during running activity, but uh, uh, separately. So here you see the profile of the skin temperature during the exercise. In gray, you have the period in which the um, volunteers stopped the activity. And uh, you can see as, uh, that as the temperature, the, the, the activity starts, the temperature increase for a period of about one hour. As, uh, and similarly for the pH, we have at the beginning a standard uh, value that increase as the sweat start, um, uh, starts becoming uh, uh, massive. Then we measure the two uh, sensors uh, together and uh, we repeat the same exercise, this time uh, over a female volunteer during uh, cycling. And also in this case, temperature increase during the, uh, these uh, uh, 20 minutes of cycling, as well as uh, the pH that has a kind of uh, on off uh, um, behavior because of the, the production of sweat at the skin uh, level. And, but also in this case, the possibility to um, remotely read two uh, to sensors has been uh, proved. So uh, in conclusion, the first, this first um, uh, experiment on the possibility to have a fully working chemical physical sensor for skin monitoring um, gave positive results. On lab, in lab, we were able to measure up to three uh, sensing um, parameters, uh, but in operative test, we were able, uh, up to now, we demonstrate the possibility to measure up to two um, parameters, but other, uh, um, other uh, um, tests are still ongoing. Uh, the device offers good readability because it can be read up to two meter in logging uh, mode and um, up to 50 centimeter in real time uh, monitoring. Next steps are for sure the, the integration of new chemical sensors. Currently in lab, we are uh, um, uh, studying the possibility to monitor also cortisol. That is an extremely challenging uh, parameter. And uh, we, we hope to integrate this kind of sensor very soon uh, in the future. And also we want to put uh, the attention on the possibility to develop some uh, algorithm for uh, um, analyzing the sensing uh, um, data uh, in a more um, complex and systematic uh, view, such to give a real information about the user health. In conclusion, I want to thank all the authors and also the Minister of Defense that partially support this study in the framework of a project called Patch Stress aimed at detecting some biomarkers of stress in soldier sweat. Thank you very much.